Hi guys, Rhonda with Adam H here. Okay, so we are starting on the pages now, getting to some of the fun decorating. Um, again, I just to go over real briefly. I am using these lunch sacks, and I was able to find a supplier. And so I do have them listed in my Etsy store now. Um, and I do like to use them just because of the crinkle, because of the white, because of the texture, because it's a sack. Um, just, you know, different, different ways of journaling, different things to do. Um, okay, so making the pages... You can do a couple of different things uh, or, you know, come up with your own things. But what I have done is I have taken my, and I'll just show you again. This is what the lunch sack looks like before I do my stuff to it. Then I spritz it with water and I iron it and get it nice and crinkly so it looks like this. And then I cut it back. The video shows you how I've prepared my paper, so I won't go through that. But you can go to the, my uh, other video. I think it's number three that talks about that. Um, so these have the tops and the bottoms taken off, and they are the seven, I think it's seven and, seven and a half. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Um, what I have done is I have separated mine so it's one thickness, okay? Here is the gusset, and you can, you know, pull that gusset out, of course, that makes your page wider. I have opened that up. And I have cut my pages to the six and a quarter wide. Nope, six and three quarters wide. And then the seven and a half. But if you're uncomfortable, if you feel like this is too thin for you to build upon, then what I would recommend you do is to go with the whole sack okay and measure get your six and a quarter inch wide and you may you know you can take the gussets off if you want you can leave them on whatever you feel to do that way um, this is six and a quarter this way let's see wait a minute let me let me do some figuring here just a second. I thought I was making these about six and a quarter, and I am. So, this is too wide. Somewhere along the line, in my, hmm, my growing, <laughs> my growing older face. Oh, no. I have made it too wide so we'll trim off a half an inch on both of these papers all righty we're gonna go that's about a six and a quarter so we'll cut that off and as you can see i have gone ahead and stitched my center um fabric piece that's going to pull these two pieces together on the one. So I have my two separated. I will decorate this. I will decorate this separately. Then I will stitch them together. That makes it really easy. And then I'll have the other two, you know, another sack. So this is one sack and then I will do another set and that will be um, two sacks. But, like I said, if you're uncomfortable with that, 
then what I have done here to show you is I have glued one sack together. You can see the difference a little bit, okay? This has more crinkle and it's lighter weight, but this is, is sturdier and it's still great. So leave that up to you. But you could do the same thing with the two sacks here. And I just did, you know, my little bit of glue around the outsides um, and press those together. S simple, easy peasy. All right, let's move that off. So, you guys, let's start. Let's do. Help me, help me create a page in my retro kitchen journal. And, you know, I had forgotten until someone in my Facebook group asked a, a question that they were looking to do a kitchen journal. And then I remembered that I had made one, and I, I didn't realize it was two years ago that uh, I sold. And it, it was also... A retro kitchen so I went back and took a peek at it and thought oh this is pretty nice <laughs> but uh, yeah so what I like to do you guys is layer and those of you that follow me you already know that I like to layer now I have paper down I have fabric here so chances are I'm gonna put fabric here and then maybe more paper and fabric and lace and pictures and yada, yada, yada. So I have been looking in my handkerchief drawers and I found this beautiful little hanky. And so I did a little bit of ripping. I know, part, part of me, you guys, in all honesty, I'm like, oh, this is such a beautiful hanky. I don't want to rip it. But you can only use, literally, so many hankies. And I don't know that I want to blow snot on a beautiful hanky anyway. <laughs> I know that's gross. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but literally, for what they were designed, I, I can't use it for that. So what I'm choosing to do is to make it beautiful in a different way. So I was thinking of, you know, putting something down like this and starting with a base here. And I have these different fabrics that I've been using. Of course, this is one of them that I'm using in the journal. Um, and I have that kind of pink and, uh, pink checked one as well. Let's see if I can find that real quick. And because I'm trying to find it, it's eluding me. There, there we go. There's that pink checked behind there. And here, okay, that's better. So that's... Those two fabrics I'm definitely using, and I've got, you know, the handkerchief um, edgings as well. So I've got this that I have frayed, and I can put this here, but it will cover up that. And I kind of like this showing the lace so I have different strips here I could do this and I don't know maybe something like that I kind of like that better uh, and if I use this piece I mean I definitely need to iron it so it'll lie flat Let's look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, guys, take a peek. Look at that. I like that. Do you like that? Ooh. I kind of, I kind of really do. 
So, this is kind of funky. You know what? I think I'm just going to maybe round that a little bit. I hope I didn't mess it up too badly. Okay, yeah. I like that better. I like that. So let's let's just let's do it. I mean, since it's here and I'm here and you're here, let's just kind of work on that. And I've got a spot that I folded over, you can see. Um, okay, that's a start. So what I want to do here, I'm going to go ahead and use my Elmer's glue stick for this and just kind of put this down a bit. Let's see how that goes. Make sure that this is the right side out. It's probably not a big deal, but you know, just just to make sure. So today is Monday. Monday, 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 the 22nd. Monday the 22nd. Tomorrow is the 23rd, and I have a sweet granddaughter that is having a birthday, so I want to make sure we give her a call and sing happy birthday to her. She's a teenager, and, and all the grandkids probably are like, oh no, Grandma and Grandpa are calling to sing. Get our earplugs on. <laughs> oh, I have found that the older you get, the less tune your voice has. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, now let's, here's another thought. I could, if I wanted to, I could kind of do this. I could sort of edge it there and trim this off a little bit. And that would give that just kind of a sort of a finished look to it. All right. Well, let's, you know, let's try it. Why not? If it doesn't work, well, we tried. And I think I'll round this a little bit like I did that other one. And let's just sort of see just kind of put that there okay that can work all right let's just kind of glue that down a little bit i hope you're having a either a fabulous monday or a pretty good monday <laughs> sometimes mondays can be less exciting as we get back to you know the normal things that maybe um the grind if you will okay so i'm also going to trim this up just a little bit okay so we will straighten that up just a little bit like like a so Okay, now I will stitch this down, not at this moment, but I definitely will stitch that down a little bit later. I like this. So here is a good layer. And this will add another cool layer. It's not quite as long as I would like it. So I think I will open this up to come up a little bit further and then maybe add, um, well, let's see. What would it look like if I started to add a little bit of the lace under it, like so? Would that look good? What do you think? What do you think, you guys? What do you think? 
Не. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. So, ah, uh, what we might do because I I actually do like it, you know, coming closer to the edge there. But let's look at perhaps putting something like this recipe pages behind there all right and then we could do it this way so then what you would see is a little bit of the recipe on the top and the bottom okay 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 that's one of the things in layering um let's do that and I have lots of recipe pages, so I don't mind if, you know, if a few of them don't work out, I can use them for other things, obviously. Um, now, I don't think I want it to come quite to the edge, so I'm also going to trim off just a smidgen here. One of the things that I do like to see are the different layers. So this is a layer. And so if I take this clear out to the edge, then I don't see this layer at all. And I do want to see it, but not quite. I'm going to trim a little bit more. Not quite as much as it looked like I was going to have there. So I'll trim a little bit more. A little more. Just kind of play with it as we go. Okay, that's better. Let me bring this in so you can see the little bit of edging that I'm keeping around that. Okay? All right. Okie doke. Now we need to go this way with it. And I think we'll just kind of fold. Oh, you know what would have been great here that I didn't think about? I could still do, but I'm not going to because it would be a little bit of a pain to do it. But I could have ripped that. Um, and I still need to... I just keep forgetting, I need to get me a decent ripping um, ruler, because this one I'm, I'm really not happy with. It's okay, but it doesn't have quite the design that I think I would like. Okay, I like that. I think that looks good. And now let's try this here. And to make sure that we get some of that layering effect, I'm going to bring it in so that it's definitely sitting nicely here. Okay, those are good elements so far. I'm liking this. And as you can see, you guys, one of the reasons, like I said earlier or in a previous video, I like to work with the thinner pages. Number one, you half a sack or cut a sack in half, you get double the pages. But also because I'm adding layers all the time. And so by the time I get this done, it will have several layers and it, and it will be sturdy. Um, that's, anyway, that's just my own personal whatever there. Just, just to share. Now I'm just going to put this down and we will make sure that it will be so you can see the layers. And then I want to make sure that this comes over 
far enough to see this layer. Um, before I actually stitch this on, however, I may want to do something here. I may want to put another piece of recipe. I might want to kind of, you know, do like this. In fact, let's let's take this ruler again, again, and let me just do a little bit of ripping. And let's see if I'm going to just rip the bottom of this. And we will see about, it's about right in here, rip it. Okay. So I could do something like this. And that gives a nice layered little bit here. I like that. What I might want to do there, and let's bring over one of my little sheets. I may want to go ahead here and just lightly go around my edges with ink, stamp pad, you know, the inking, whatever. This is not that Tim Holtz needs any <laughs> any selling from me for for sure, but okay, I kind of like that, and actually, I kind of would like that to be edged here as well, and I should have done that technically. I should have done that before I glued it down but there are times that I get excited and I get going <laughs> and, and then we go back I have sometimes taken apart very carefully where I've glued something down to add another element it, it does happen I, I won't lie to you okay so I kind of like that. And let's just sneak that underneath. And let's put this here. And then let's lay this on top and see. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm stopping the camera and I'm going to do some stitching and then I will be back. Okay, so this, I think, looks pretty good, pretty good so far. We've got a little bit of layering going on now. I'm ready to put some more fun, fun things. Um, I think I'm ready to try some, uh, some other stuff. Like some recipes and some, oh, you know, the stuff, the fun stuff, the colorful, the, the make it pop, the, yeah. Okay. Uh, I also have, and this is just to, isn't this cool? I found a... A magazine, a book, uh, in a uh, you know in a junk shop, the other day when I was out and about that has all of these um, pictures of vintage dishes in sets, and I thought, well, that could make a cool, you know, something here, kitchen, um, and so I cut out uh, one of those. 
look at this, guys. Is that cool? I cut it out in the square and then I thought, oh, let's fussy cut that. So it can sort of like, ooh, I like. But we have to get this right. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, um, let's continue. Continue, continue. I like her. She's definitely got the vintage vibe. And let's see. I need, we'll bring over our, <laughs> our little junk thing. Um, I think I probably want to corner around her. And we will just do that. My corner rounder is broken. I'm going to have to get me a new one. But it's it works as long as I <laughs> don't work too hard at it. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of this around the edges just to tone down the white white just just a smidgen not too terribly much but enough to show a little bit more definition all right I think that'll work we'll put that back okay let's bring our page back and today is actually ooh 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 I like that do you like that? Let's let me show you by bringing that closer just exactly why I like this. I let me move this again. It distracts from the white here. See, I've got the layer I have my base, my page. And then I have this lace handkerchief, remember? on top over here and then I've got the page the recipe page on top over here and I've got a recipe on top of the handkerchief here and then the fabric here and look if I kind of just snuggle that into that area then you've got one two three four five layers going on right here and you can see just little bits and pieces of them. I love to do this. This is one of the things that I do. Um, anyway, okay, so let's take that back out so it's a little bit easier for you to see what I'm working on. Okay, so I'm kind of liking that. Um, and do I want another background? in here and I you know I'm kind of keeping it to recipes because this is a retro recipe book mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know I really want to bring this in and so that looks this is too busy for me that We'll just move that out of the way. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Um, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent crazy about this. What do you think? This is. Oh, uh, I have. Let's try. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Sorry about the sound effects, you guys. But hey, we're just kind of like. <gasps> oh, what do you think? What do you think, you guys? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Is that pretty good? I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. So, so, mm 
Mm-hmm. Um. Or if I took it up like that. Oh, I hate to, you know, I want to use, I want us have every layer showing, but if I don't, and I kind of work it around this way, I'm still getting, I get it over here. Decisions, decisions, decisions. This is where the rubber meets the road. I wonder where, who, who created that? Now, do I want a space between her and the strawberries? Or, let's see, do I want? That has some merit. It really does. I'm loving this. But at the same time, I'm loving this. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to put a something, another something or other, here. All right, so let's take this off our layers. So this is the first one to go on. Oops. So let me just glue that down. Again, it's going to be stitched. But if you don't have a sewing machine, then just make sure that your glue, that you're doing it nice and sturdy so that it will, you know, hold down there for you. And I think this was the next layer. Um, let's go ahead with this and let's, you know, just kind of do around the edges of this as well just to give just a teensy bit of definition uh, okay it's not white white like the other was but still I like that okay so first one down then we will glue this one down. It is Tuesday morning. I actually started this video yesterday and then I, you know, I just have a lot of different things to do and accomplish and I wasn't able to get back here um, until this morning. Oh, Oh, I just this. Oh, you guys, I'm loving this. <laughs> this is something I haven't put in any of my, well, I haven't made, but uh, two or three of the uh, retro, the kitchen journals. Well, I have for my grandkids, but nothing that I took videos of that you wouldn't know. Um, but this is definitely a fun element that I really like. Okay, so let's get that glued down. Fussy cutting is not my favorite thing to do, but it is kind of nice sometimes, like of an evening, when I'm just ready to relax with hubby. Oh, Look at that. I got a big glob of glue there. Wanna, let's just make that so it goes. <laughs> ah! That was not intentional. All right. Let's center that so you can see. Kind of tack that down a little bit. And actually what I'm going to do, you guys... Um, <clears throat> I'll do that in just a minute. Ah, I want this to go over. So I need to carefully lift that up 
so I can glue her down. You, you have to kind of keep in mind your layers and which one. I just think it looks better to have this be my top layer. I like the look of that better. So then I will go ahead, we'll glue this down, and all right, a little bit of space, and then we'll pop that back down. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I'm liking this. Um, I'm going to add some little something right here. Um, and do I want paper? Do I want fabric? Do I want do I want to bring in some of this that I've already used this from? Do I want to just kind of pop a little layer of this on there? I could. That would, I would like that. And it would frame that, give that a little bit of a frame. I also have a little spot here that I can do something with. Never underestimate those little places. So this is where we just kind of, you know, I'll, I think about it and kind of try a couple of different things. I've got some other laces on my table, so let's just play with this just a little bit. I could do like the three. That would look kind of cool. And I could do this on top. That looks good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I am just loving the opportunity of just, just creating. Now, if I do something like this, it is going to take away that little bit of fun um, and I don't know that I want that to be taken away I've got another little bit of lace here that's smaller okay okay this could work <laughs> it's just a process, my friends. It is just a process. And quite a fun one, actually. Although sometimes it can get very... It can get tedious. It can. I think if I put that right there then I can still see my layering. Am I just try I think I'm just trying too hard there. What do you think? Just trying to make it fit a little too hard. Um... So... What is new in your neck of the woods, my friends? What have you been up to? I would love to hear what's going on with you, so please comment in the comments below this video. Let me know. What's going on with you? What are you working on? Are you trying? Are you going to try the this? Play with it a little bit? No, I kind of think that's pretty cool. And 
yeah. I kind of do like that. And I might like this. Um, I told you that we were going to stay in state for our vacationing this year. <coughs> and we are. We, the trailer was, we thought there were some things wrong with it. Um, and, and maybe I already shared this with you. If, if I did, I apologize. But it was just us not knowing how to use the equipment that was the real issue. So that was great to find out that our trailer is absolutely fine working. And so we're getting it ready now to take another little we're only going to be gone for two three days we're not you know until we get more familiar with this whole process we're not going to be gone too too long we want to have all our <laughs> trial and error things you know while we're here local. <laughs> Let's see. If I could find just a little bit of something food-wise to fit right here, but that doesn't clash with my... Ooh, you know. I just need a small... I need a really small image. Let me see. If I got any real small... Nothing there. And nothing here. But I, what can I chop up? <laughs> I could take part of her. Um, well, maybe this is a, to be surprised, <laughs> and the next, let's see, we've got, here's a couple of fun small little images, um, I could do her, I, you know, I think I'm probably, I don't want to cut this up, and I don't really want to cut these peppers up either, but I think that's what I want, is an image of a strawberry, or something that, that fits in this yellow would match the color, but not ruin this, although, you know, for the... For the cause, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Oh. But the nice thing is, I can just print more of these out. And then I can have the image together as well as separate here. I have... I've been uh, collecting for quite some time, and I did a my last journal, Retro uh, Kitchen, was clear back in 2018. <gasps> Look at that, guys. Is that cool? Ooh, I like it. I like it. Um, so, for this part, I'm going to bring in a little bit sturdier glue and just kind of smoosh it around okay I love cheesecloth for texture I love it for texture and then we will go ahead and glue around this I'm not a hundred percent sure if I will stitch on this one which is why I'm going to glue it particularly well. 
and there we go with that uh oh I dropped my pin my stainless steel pin that goes in here so I will have to get that um, this I like very much but I almost feel like this needs just a bit of pop and you know something actually that's not bad let's just cut and these are my pinking shears I've had them for many years I don't know how expensive or not they are anymore they're I don't, and I don't know which is right or wrong on this that's frustrating but I suppose if I don't know then it could be okay okay All right, I kind of like that. So, here again, we'll just go with glue that down with the sturdier glue. Okay. And I know I tried to keep that, uh, that one spot. <laughs> it just was not meant to be not today not today so we will glue this down and I will stitch <sighs> I don't love that <laughs> I don't love it you guys it just feels too new or something. Let me go back here and you know what? I kind of think that could work. Let's go ahead. Let's give this a try. I'm just going to cut this off. We'll just trim that up a smidgen which is right side that is the right side okay or do I want it over here do I want it <laughs> it seems like it's so easy to get stuck And sometimes there's like, this is pretty, that's pretty, this other is pretty. It's like too many yeses that you could put it here, you could put it there, you could put it, you know, many different places. And I think I'm actually going to go with one more element. And, oh, I love this. I love this so much. This is coming to, I love this you guys I'm loving it loving it now let's see what do we think about that right here I could do it like that I could do it like that I could ba, 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 ba. I could put this which is very see-through. I could even put this down here. Oh, that's very beautiful. And I would tack that underneath. Ah, oh, you guys. There's way too many choices here. 
Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me shut this off, go get a couple more things, and I'll be back. Okay, I have added this little bit of rickrack, and I lifted up this, and put this underneath. I'm going to glue this down here. Hopefully, I'm in range to show this to you. We'll put that down and I will finish it out by gluing over here and then <laughs> then I think we really will be done with this page really <laughs> I I have to share this is just this is a very very normal for me to have the page evolve just in a different way but this I think this would be this is our finished page. Well, let me, so you can see the whole page. <clears throat> okay, well, oh, minus the stitching, okay. I am going to stitch here, and I will stitch here, and I'll stitch this, and I probably will stitch this, but I'm not going to stitch these. That's too tedious, and, you know, even I don't enjoy doing that. Um, I may stitch around the pepper here, and I will likely stitch here. But even if I didn't, see how pretty that is? Just beautiful. And it's, I've got a lot going on, so this has been really sturdy, which is why I generally uh, don't double up on my pages. Okay, guys, I think we'll call this good for video number four, and I will go ahead and stitch what I'm doing. Video number five, I'll show you it stitched down, and we will do the other side of this. We'll do another page over here, and then stitch those two pages together. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're learning some of my tips. I, I'm i not great at this. I don't claim to be amazing, anything like that. I just love what I do and I love to share with you and I just enjoy your company. And until next video, have a fabulous day. Bye, guys.